Hello everyone. I welcome you all to JK Tech Solution YouTube channel. Today in our channel, I am going to walk you through the circular loop antenna design and simulation ANSYS HFSS. So before getting into the simulation of loop antenna, we need to know what is my loop antenna. So generally a loop antenna is the thing but a radiating coil of any cross-sectional area of one or more turns. Okay, okay may either me one turn or more turns which carrying the RF current. So that is nothing but loop antenna. So we have different types of loop antenna such as rectangular, triangular, square, circular, and many shapes are there. So in our video, we are going to design a circular loop antenna as you can see the image here. Okay, so we are in this video, we are going to design circular loop antenna. So for designing a circular loop antenna, so these are the design parameters as you can see here, radius of loop antenna, substrate length, substrate width and thickness of the loop. So these are all the design parameters we need to consider for designing a loop antenna. The next we have an online tool for calculating the design parameters of loop antenna. So I have already calculated for the frequency of three gigahertz, the radius of loop antenna is 15.9155 mm, 60 mm substrate length and then substrate width is 40 mm. So these are all the design parameters I've calculated. So I have given the online tool link in the description box as well as in the comment section. As you can also see the QR code in the page, you can scan it and you can use the online tool. So now let's we start our uh, calculation board uh, online tool antenna calculator or blogspot.com. So here we need to get into circular loop antenna calculator. So here we need to enter the frequency. So in our video, we are going to design for three gigahertz frequency. So I'm here going to enter the frequency as three gigahertz. Here it is given in hertz. We need to click gigahertz. Okay. For 3 gigahertz, I'm getting the radius as 15.9155 mm and outer radius, then substrate length and then substrate width. So these are the design parameters we got. So now, now let's we start our simulation in ANSYS HFSS. Click on File, New, HFSS. So now we need to assign design parameters. So for that, we click on HFSS, Design Properties. The design properties, you need to click on Add. So first we are going to add uh, radius that is R R1. Okay, first we are going to add R1. Unit type is length. The value of R1 here it is 15.9155 mm. So just copy R1. Click OK. Then add parameters R2 unit type length and the value of R2 here is 17.915 uh, mm. Uh, I'm entering 17.915 mm. Click on OK. Then add the next parameter is length. L. Okay, length of substrate. We are giving the unit type as length millimeter units. The value of length we have found here is 60.0141. The next we need to add another parameter with capital W. Unit type here it is length. The value of width is 45.0141. So these are all the uh, design parameters we have considered. And I have substituted these design parameters that the radius of inner loop is R1 and the radius of outer loop is R2. The length of the substrate as plus ground is 60.0141 and the width of the substrate and the ground is 45.0141. So these are design parameters we have considered. And just click apply. Okay. We need to add another one parameter, which is add capital T, that is thickness of the substrate. Uh, unit type is length, and that value is 1.6 mm. Okay. You need to click 1.6 mm. Okay. Apply. Okay. So here we need to first uh, draw our ground plane. So we can draw a rectangle of any size. We can just substitute a value. The X size is w and then the y size is minus capital l and just click on apply okay so now we have 
You can measure the distance. So you are on the ground plane, rename it as ground. So we have drawn the ground plane. Next, we need to draw the substrate. So for that, uh, click on box. After clicking box, so here the thickness z size must be capital T. Okay, the remaining values are same. The next step, we need to draw the circular loop. So for drawing the circular loop, I'm clicking the circle. Uh, you can see have center point. Then just give control C copy of circle one and control V. Okay. So in the circle one, we are going to enter the value. Uh, you can see design properties. In the circle one, we are going to enter 15.91 double pay. Okay. So I'm keeping the circle one as inner circle. And then the circle two as outer circle. So in inner circle, you need to enter the R1 value. And then the outer circle, you need to enter R2 value. So as you can see here, we have entered both R1 and then R2 values. So now our step is to subtract both outer circle and inner circle. Click on outer circle and give control key. Click inner circle, subtract. In the blank point, you uh, have, you should have outer circle and the tool part you should have inner circle. Then click OK. So you have drawn a loop. Next, we need to uh, assign feed. So for that, uh, click on rectangle. And as yes, you can see the center point, the left of the center point, you need to draw the rectangle. And in the similar way, you need to draw the rectangle on the right part of the um, center part. Okay, so two rectangles we have drawn. So in the rectangle one, you need to assign the x value. So uh, from optimization, okay, after optimization, I have got the radius value as 1 mm, the x left side. And rectangle two, uh, our optimized value that I got is at 1 mm. So as you can see here, both. Uh, we need to merge these two lines, rectangle one and rectangle two, um, unit, okay, you need to click unit. Then you need to uh, unit the uh, feed line as well as the loop. So I'm uniting both these lines. Then we need to keep the port. So for keeping the port, you need to click on XZ plane, rectangle. Uh, we have assigned the port here. So we need to click on assign excitation port. Uh, sorry, we need to click on HFS solution type must be model. Okay. So assign excitation port, lumped port, 50 ohms, integration line, new line, new line, you need to click on here and finish. So we have successfully assigned a lumped port. So next we need to give the analysis setup. So before getting into analysis setup, we need to assign a, a perfect key to the ground plane, assign excitation, assign boundary, perfect key. Okay. Then the outer circle, we need to assign boundary, perfect key. Okay. As you can see here, we have assigned perfect key to both the ground plane as well as um, loop. The next we need to create open region. We click on create open region. Uh, the frequency that we are going to design is for three gigahertz. Click OK. And click on analysis, add solution setup, advanced. Our frequency is three gigahertz. So I'm entering here three gigahertz. OK. Then just click OK. So in the HFSS, uh, then you need to clear, validate uh, your design validation check. OK. Then click on HFSS, analyze all. So after giving analyze all, you need to save the project. I'm saving my project as 
circular loop antenna design circular loop antenna design save so now your simulation part will start Our simulation part is over. We need to see the result. Click on HFSS results. Uh, create results. Create model solution data report rectangular plot S parameter DB. Click on new report. So as you can see here, uh, so we have not assigned the uh, F4 for epoxy to the material. So click on box. Assign material here. You need to assign the material as F4 for epoxy. Okay, so click on F4 for epoxy. So in our previous case, we have not assigned the uh, a dielectric material to the substrate. Now we have assigned the dielectric material as F4 for epoxy. Now we need to click on validation check, then analyze all. So after assigning F4 for epoxy dielectric material, we have got following result. Result state model solution report rectangular plot S11 parameter. So as you can see here, we have got uh, some more uh, written loss, uh, less recent loss compared to before assigning the material. So here we need to marker, add marker. So as you can see here, we have obtained our frequency at 3.1. Nearly we have got both the calculated value and then a simulated value as same. Okay, so you have successfully designed a uh, circular loop antenna. So now you can find here uh, bandwidth. Okay, so click on in marker, um, marker, add by marker. So when you so at minus 10 dB, you can find a bandwidth. Okay, so now you can find a minimum bandwidth at 3.33 minus 2.88. So when you subtract, uh, subtract both these values, you'll get the bandwidth. So then next, uh, you need to uh, find a VSWR. Click on results. Uh, create model solution report, rectangular path, then VSWR. So as you can see here, dB. So we have also obtained a VSW right similar to 3.0. Uh, we have got exactly at 3.0 gigahertz. So we have successfully verified the parameters of bandwidth, VSWR, and then the S parameter plot. And thank you so much for patiently watching our video. 
uh, i hope you to see you again on next video thank you have a nice day